Hello ladies and gentlemen, and you may be wondering how comes I've made these LEGO episodes a little bit earlier this time? That's because, well, I've realised that my college days have changed from, well, they changed to Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, so that means I won't be able to upload the, the LEGO episodes on Thursdays and Fridays now because I'll be at college and all that stuff, so, yeah, kind of a bummer really, but that's just how college goes I'm afraid. So, either way, at least I can still make LEGO weapons on Mondays and Tuesdays, so that's for sure. So anyway, in today's episode, well, we have a SMG which is made by Beretta, which is an, an, an Italian uh, firearms company, which it is, well, I, f I believe it's like the oldest um, company going, because apparently this company has been going around for since the 1500s, and that is so old. But either way... This SMG is going to be one of my favourite SMGs because I don't know why, it just looks kind of cool anyway. So, anyway, here it is. Oh, yeah, so, this is bound to be the Beretta PM12S or the M12 or something like that. So, by the way, let's have a look at some facts as well as the comparisons between this Lego one and the real one. So, let's have a look, shall we? Interesting stuff. Right. I'll show you the areas and the features of this particular weapon. First things first. Well, here's the same good old pistol grip, not much change there. Uh, trigger, slightly moved, but there you go. Uh, magazine, like so, I think it holds up to 30 rounds or something like that, I'm not so sure. But I know it fires a 9x19mm Parabellum, which is like a standard pistol or SMG caliber. So, that's cool. Uh, this part here, I believe this is part of the whole field stripping um, thing or whatever. It's like you unscrew it and everything else and it reveals the inside of the body and everything else and, and all the um, mechanics and all that stuff. So, so yeah, that keeps everything inside in place, so that's cool. Uh, rear sight, fore sight, as you may tell, the um, sightings here is just a small circular shape. And the front part, hang on, let me take out the front part. And this is what the front part looks like. So, kind of cool, really. So, anyway, that's that. <clears throat> uh, breach, like so. Kind of a cool thing right there. Uh, charging handle. This was kind of a, well, it's kind of stiff for what it is, but I do try my best to make that. So, it's kind of a curved semi, well, a quarter of a circular shape or something like that. So, yes. Uh, now here's the foregrip. Now this was kind of the hardest part to do just because well I had to make it in an angle like that and how I did that really is just technically hang on, set that off for a moment, is used like these hinged pieces. I don't know if you can tell. Hang on, let me put the gun down so I can actually show you. Um, just take it off for some reason. Just take a little piece off just to show you on how it's made. So yeah, just use two of these hinged pieces on either side and stick a a 4x2 piece, I don't know if that's what you call it, but you put that on. And then once you've made your uh, full grip, you place that underneath here, like so, and there, there you go. Anyway, moving on, here's the barrel, like so, and then I believe this also screws up so that you can pull out the barrel, so it's for disassembly and field stripping and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I believe this is bound to be my second or third attempt at making this weapon because my other attempts didn't really go quite so well for what they were because back then my Lego creating skills weren't the best but now that I can make complex um, weapons and all that they turn out great in the end so well, they, no, they may not be the best due to the colours but you know, it's, it's the only thing I could do, you know, I have no choice really, just because I haven't got all the colours and all the pieces I need, so I just have to make it as they are. So anyway, this is all I have time for you guys on you today, but join me tomorrow for another Beretta weapon, but this is a pistol this time, and this one fires 
a .22 long rifle pit caliber. So yes, feel free to join me tomorrow for that weapon. But if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below what you think of this episode. I help you a lot. But if you really liked it, you want to subscribe to my channel and keep the channel growing. I help you a lot as well. Oh yes, keep up to date with videos that oh, I do as well. And if you're new around the channel, welcome. Feel free to have a look around content that I have done in the past. Or if you want to keep up to date with the rest of the QT, that would help you a lot as well. But either way, it is up to you. So yes, join me tomorrow for another Beretta pistol. Uh, or Beretta weapon, and as always, enjoy the rest of your days. Salutes!